Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Muhammad Fido Sumausin <coughs> from UC Kebangsaan Malaysia. Um, together with my main supervisor, social professor Dr. Muhammad Rashid Zanali and my co-supervisor Dr. Amar Reza Amar Rizal. So today I would like to present my uh, research, my PhD research uh, with the title Documentary Photography and Content Analysis of the Best Environmental Photography 2020. So, uh, Okay, uh, we start with the introduction, objective, uh, uh, methodology, findings, and so on. Um, introduction, as the world continues to adapt and change, uh, we seek to understand that uh, there's an unseen impact. Okay, so environmental issues has become a major factor in creating uh, pollution in our society and it affects our life. So this study examined the relationship, the relationship of independent variable, which is communication technology, image narrative, and also image technical towards the awareness uh, of uh, environmental issues. Um, all photographers are momentum mori, okay, momentum mori, which is a memory to take a photograph is uh, to participate in another person's or things, mortality, uh, vulnerability, and uh, mutability. And uh, to identify the relationship uh, of communication technology, technical image, and also uh, image narrative in the photo documentary of the World Top 20 Environmental Photography winner uh, in creating a public awareness of environmental issues, which is uh, my main objective. Uh, the methodology is the content analysis, which is uh, the quantitative content analysis uh, amount to the 20 uh, selected environmental photography winner 2020. Okay, so uh, based on the data, we have done a reliability test and a result of a, uh, a variable gains a value from the alpha 0 0.6, which is a, is a concluded, is a reliable. And uh, based on the figure 1.1, shows that the data spreads around the diagonal line uh, and follows the directions of the diagonal line. Therefore, the data is uh, normally distributed. And the, the normality test based on figure 1.2, uh, provides the interpretations that the histogram graph um, has a normal distribution. Okay, can be seen that the graph that forms a, a bell pattern and does not tilt to the right or tilt to the left, which is a in a standard uh, bell pattern graph. So uh, the result of a regression analysis, right? Um, of the independent variable, namely the communication technology, image narrative, and image technique. Uh, uh, with the image interpretation variables, are dependent variable shows the table 4. So based on the table 4, the highest beta value, which is the image narrative, uh, uh, 0 0.939, followed by the beta value for technical image, 0 0.035, and the lowest beta value, which is a communication technology, 0 0.025. So the highest tolerance T value is a uh, uh, image narrative, which is a 10.075, followed by the tolerance T value for the image technical 0 0.383, and the last tolerance value for communication technology 0 0.267. Other than that, based on the table 4, you can see also the highest significant value is the communication technology, which is the 0 0.793, followed by the information. Uh, image technical 0 0.707 and the lowest significant value image narrative with a 0 0.001. So, uh, based on the result analysis, it can be concluded that the narrative image has a very significant impact towards the interpretation of the meaning environmental photography, photography image to the public awareness related to the environmental issues. So, therefore, uh, for every photographer, they need to really understand uh, the importance of narrative image when creating every single image related to any issues because the image narrative can be used as a main focus, main uh, major tools in creating the understanding of uh, any issues. Uh, in this case, uh, environmental issues. So that's all my presentation. Assalamualaikum and thank you.